meditation is not sacred. It's simply a practice that anyone can do. It's a practice of noticing what it's like to be you without being crowded by your usual ideas and beliefs. Meditation is about examining consciousness. And consciousness doesn't belong to any religion or spiritual practice, no matter what claims they might make. Meditation isn't sacred. Today, every sacred teaching can be found somewhere online for free. And it's only getting easier to find these once hidden meditation secrets. This is a time of a lot of information and it's never been easier to learn meditation. The problem with keeping meditation a secret. Religious beliefs don't have anything to do with meditative insight, neither do spiritual beliefs, and no system is required to experience true insight into the nature of mind. Whether meditation teachings are hidden behind new age beliefs or traditional religious beliefs, they are still beliefs and they are not necessary for the practice of meditation. The problem with this type of dogma is that a lot of bad ideas can sneak their way into the instructions. If you learn meditation this way, You'll probably end up doing a lot of things that are completely unnecessary for you to progress in meditation. And experiencing insight will take longer compared to learning meditation with the freer approach. It might seem radical to say that you can study and learn meditation without the cultural, historical and religious approach. But meditation is, in nature, non-dual. In its practice form, and for you today, it doesn't have anything to do with religion, culture or history, in the sense that the practice of meditation is not dependent on any of these things. Don't make the mistake of thinking that your meditation practice or teacher is anything but mundane. You don't need to travel anywhere, meet anyone or engage in any rituals to experience the benefits of meditation. Meditation is an investigation or exploration of your consciousness. It's without concept. The practice is developing mindfulness. That's it. And adding any more ideas into this will not get you closer to peace. Are there any dangers to teaching meditation freely? Yes, of course there is, or there can be. Meditation has been a secretive practice because it risks being misunderstood. Today, and historically, people have used meditation as a tool to take advantage of other people claiming to be enlightened to behave poorly. But meditation also has the potential for lasting positive impact. Practice meditation and approach it with analysis, constant critique, clarification, details and nuance, and you'll be fine. Do you need a teacher or tradition to learn meditation? Is it going to help you? Try it. It might be beneficial for a time, but no, you don't need a teacher or tradition? Are the colours and community just another distraction from actually practising? Or does it result in more sitting down and practising? And if you're susceptible to cult behaviour or group mentality, it's probably better not to risk it. Look inside yourself for what you need. Realise you don't need to look anywhere else. This is your one shot, so take hold of it. If you're on this path today, you've got the best shot anyone has ever really had of living an abundant and enlightened life. But you must be diligent and returning to your most truthful and compassionate self. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Happy holidays.